rock legend Meatloaf reportedly attempted to avoid being drafted into the army in the late 60s by gaining 31 kilograms in four and a half weeks. The ruse didn't work, but he ignored the call-up notice and went on to form several rock bands before joining the cast of the musical Hair in Los Angeles. He went on to enjoy great success in musicals and played the doomed biker Eddie in the stage version of 70s classic The Rocky Horror Show before reprising the part in the film. He and his collaborator Jim Steinman ended up drawing on the theatricality of musicals for Meatloaf's album Bat Out of Hell. With just eight long songs on it, including Bat Out of Hell and Two Out of Three Ain't Bad, it took two and a half years to find a buyer for the album. Eventually released in 1977, Bat Out of Hell has since sold over 43 million albums worldwide. Since then, he hasn't stopped touring, recording and acting on stage and in films like Roadie, Crazy in Alabama, Fight Club and Tenacious D in The Pick of Destiny. Despite all the accolades and hit records, he still feels like a novice. I haven't accomplished anything as far as I'm concerned yet. There's so much left to do. There, there's so much improvement to be made. There's, you know, I'm, I'm working with voice teach, uh, a voice coach to sing better. I'm working with acting coaches to act better. I'm, I'm working with, uh, you know, movement coach to, to, to move better. I'm working, I'm always working to improve and to get better. And, and uh, it, it's like, if you think that you, there's no room for improvement or to get better, then really you should go fishing. In 2006, more than 30 years after the first installment, he and Jim Steinman finally released the final part of the Bat Out of Hell trilogy. We were, in 79, we were, we, Jim Steinman said, this should be a trilogy. And I said, yeah, why not? And uh, so we knew that that's where we were going with this from after 78 and Bat became as successful as it was. That was the, it was the feelings uh, of Steinman at that point. And I, I said, absolutely, I'm not, I'm not an idiot. And um, well, <laughs> to some people I might be, but anyway, um, so it just took 30 years to do it, that's all. At the age of 60, it looked as though he may have finally run out of steam, when at the start of a concert in England's Newcastle, he suddenly declared, ladies and gentlemen, I love you, thank you for coming, but I can no longer continue, and promptly walked off stage. The rest of the tour was canceled, but just as fans were coming to terms with his retirement, he announced his comeback and returned to the stage in Plymouth for the first show of his Casa de Carne tour. Then in early 2009 came the news he was heading back to the studio with producer Rob Cavallo to record another album.